Good morning, it's turned out nice again. Mother f It's uh, Friday, Friday, the um, 17th of November 2017, and you're watching CopTalk.tv. Hooray. It's Friday, guys. Huh? Mm. Are you buzzing your tits off because it's the weekend? Do you know what I'm doing this weekend? Fuck off. Absolutely nothing, guys. Nothing. No. No, no, no. From Saturday morning. Right, till Monday morning, I'll be in my lounge. I will go to bed. You know what I'm saying? I will leave the lounge to go to bed. But that's it. I'll just be attached to the sofa. You know, pop that thing, that little arm on the edge there. Up comes the fucking feet. Chilled out. I'll be watching the football all weekend. Because I like to do that, you know. Um, it's all, you know, it's all I need, really. So, I, I, can't, I can't wait to watch Liverpool play. But I also like to watch the other teams and the other leagues and stuff like that. I like to have a small bet on each game. Give a bit of an interest in that. Yeah, and I know lots of you are like that. You know, that's all I'm bothered about. So I'm really looking forward to it. The weekend as such doesn't make a big deal to me, like some of you guys, because every day it's fucking same for me out here. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the football. Now, the thing is, talking about watching football, I see that BT Sport have increased their prices again, or they're basically going to increase their prices again. And um, I, I don't know, it's... I don't think that the, the average duo can continue to, you know, afford paying that. I just don't, I just don't, it's got to stop. Um, so, I, because I knew I was going to make this video about it, I logged on to, to Google News and I put in BT Sport price increase. And the first article that I found um, was by Digital Spy, which is a particularly, you know, um, quite a good website. You know, it's um, one, one of the big websites in terms of reporting about TV stuff, showbiz, technology and things like that. And I thought, that'll do. So, I guess reading in here... And the headline is, BT Sport have increased their prices and people are not in capital letters. Because it's serious biz, guys, right? They're not, fucking that's wrong with my mind, a bit dry. And not impressed. Okay, so, it, it goes on, it says, BT have revealed plans to hike up the prices of some of their services. And BT Sport users are among those affected by the changes. Um, blah, 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 blah. So it looks like it's going to be three a three pound increase. I got the email last night. It's three pound increase, I think, for the normal standard definition version of uh, BT Sport. You know, if 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 you sit if you're with Sky, for example, and you watch it via them. So I think it's a three pound increase for the the standard definition package, and an extra one fifty if you want the HD, which you're going to do that if you've got HD capability. So that's an extra four pound fifty, yeah, a month on our on on already. On, on what it is already, which I'm not sure it is. I'm sure the, in the email I got, it was something like coming out at twenty seven uh, ninety nine or something like that. Important changes to your BT services. Here we go. Um, this is the email I got. I, I, I think it's, it's in excess of 26 quid, I think. Yeah. I don't understand it because this is saying um, standard price of twenty five ninety nine, but... I don't know, I don't know if that includes, you know, that doesn't sound like it includes HD or whatever. You guys will know more than me, you know what I mean? So, but the point is, it's going up by up to £4.50 a month. So I, I get that email last night and I obviously then start to look around for a bit of information on it online. And then I put a tweet out about it, right? And it's in this fucking article here. I can't believe it. I, I went to read this article, um, you know, about BT Sport increases. And they've listed like... Um, your selection of tweets from people randomly. And this, I'm reading down it's my fucking face. Mush, my mushy there. I was like, you know what I mean? I just didn't expect that. Anyway, it says uh, what I tweeted out, and this is what they've included, is further price increases by BT Sport. Just had an email about it, and I've read a couple of articles as a result. Your ordinary mush can't keep paying those increases. No wonder Cody boxes are rife. And it's true, innit, guys? It can't... It can't carry on because people are paying, um, you know, to Sky Sports and BT Sport. T truth be told, I prefer BT Sport. I actually do. And I used to love the Fletch and Sav show. It was fantastic. Um, I, I do prefer BT Sport. But, and, and look, I ain't got a problem with the with paying for both of them, right? And, and, and I can afford that subscription now and I can afford it following the increase, right? But I know there's a lot of people can't. And, uh, and this is why they're, t they're changing to... You know, dodgy. You know, um, workarounds to 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 access um, such stuff because they can't fucking afford it anymore. Um, now, 
you know, I have, uh, a, a, you know, Cody. I, I always look over here because I'm in my, main, my big office, my main office. And over there, is my, I've got a huge telly on the wall and various equipment around it that enables me to, to watch TV, right? So I've got Cody. I can access all of those channels, BT Sports, Sky Sports, in, in perfect uh, high-definition quality, quality, as Rafa would say. I've got... Um, a sky a, a box there a satellite box that opens up all of the channels right uh, which was given to me free my mate is, uh, out here is um, he deals with satellite installations and things like that especially for the bars and clubs and things down in the resort and uh, i looked after his dog recently and he gave me it he was like no you, you he said to me he says i know you won't accept anything and you never do because i won't take out off him he's just what friends are for isn't it and he went but i insist he went here they can put this in your office all right, fair enough. Um, and it's exactly the same as a, as, a, as a Skybox in England. It's got the EPG, everything. You can even record on it, right? So, despite those options that are available to me, right, the, the Kodi, the streaming, the, the, the alternative satellite box, um, and, you know, I even pay to um, two companies now um, for high-definition uh, high streaming of... Uh, access to again you can access all of those channels and more from america and all of the um premier league football the saturday 3 pms everything right? i i pay for those right again it's because it's important to me and despite me having access to all of the stuff uh you know via alternative methods if you like in pu in, in crystal clear you know high definition streaming for example I still pay Sky Television and BT Sports for their full packages. I know that makes me stupid. I know that, guys. Um, and, and the reason that I do that is because, you know, like I've just told you, my weekend, it will be about me watching the football. I just turned into a Jamaican and watching the football. You know, watching the football. Um, that's my thing on a weekend. I like to relax. I like to watch the footy. I like to have a bet. And I don't want it to stop. You know, these things can go down. These alternative methods can go down. Even, you know, and the, the one that I'm, um, the, 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 the pay ones that I pay for each month, they don't go down. I think maybe once. But I can't have that. I can't, it'll ruin my day, man. Yeah? So I'm quite happy. I pay a, a streaming company about a tenner a month. And it gives me access in high definition to, and my internet is shit here right at the moment i'm getting fiber optic very soon apparently right but my internet is shit here i have four connections here to bring cop talk to you two adsl which are dreadful separate lines right i'm not talking about you know extenders or anything these are four connections that i pay for two adsl in case one goes down or you can use the other if one's slow right and two 4g routers which basically mean gives me the speeds of you know what you get on your on your on your mobile phone or whatever which is a lot faster than the ADSL, but it's limited bandwidth. So that's that's how bad it is here where I live. I, to, I pay 200 euros a month for my internet, right? Just to bring all this shit to you. So my internet's poor, right? But there's still streams in perfect quality for, for me. And on a Saturday, I, can, I could watch Sky Sports on it if I wanted to, BT Sport, um, you know, it, it's all there. Um, but, but, I don't, I want the proper, you know, I've got a projector in my lounge and I want the best picture, the best sound to, for my experience. So the 3 p.m.s, yes, I will watch on there uh, via those services, but the, 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 the proper football, you know, that's not at the 3 p.m., it's on Sky Sports, BT Sports, I watch through what I pay for, all right? So uh, I know it's a long-winded thing, and I'm just trying to explain to you that how important it is to me. And and I know a lot of you will ask me about um, who that I um, get the um, the streaming through, but I can't even remember the name of it, guys. I can't even remember. It. I could find it, you know what I mean? But um, I, I don't even know if they like to advertise it. I don't know. It's, if you were to go to my Twitter account, twitter.com forward slash Duncan Oldham, then and look at who I follow. Then you'll you'll see because there's the, the two companies are both on there. I think, but bizarrely, they um, bizarrely they sell. They're like resellers, as far as I'm aware, for the same thing. So whichever one you access um, is the same, exactly the same 
setup, if that makes sense. And you can watch via your computer. I can sit here and put it on or on a laptop or on my phone or anything. Uh, it's fantastic. And if you're wondering why I pay for two, uh, that's because one of them, when it came down, the other weekend, um, I hadn't renewed it and I didn't realise it was like five minutes to kick off. I was fucking flapping. You know, I extended it by six months or whatever. And it didn't activate straight away, so I went. I tried another one just to see what it was like, and that was when I realised that they were both selling the same shit. So, um, but yeah, fant fantastic. If you just follow my Twitter thing, if you go and look at the people I follow, you'll see uh, who they are. My phone's going, guys. Oh, that's my, my mate. I can't play that right now. Um, it's a voice message. You see. Uh, morning, Migo. Uh <laughs> He's got cold, um, so I'll have to reply to him in a minute. Um, <clears throat> so all the you know people, there are alternative methods, and I know that you, you know you guys, you, you you're switched on, you know what you're doing, you know you'll be taking advantage of that, and I get it. But the thing is, this this has got to stop. You know these people can't justify. I mean, I know a family, right, and they're a lovely couple. Um, bit older than me and have got grown up kids and that uh, one of them is a total football fanatic you know the man of the house if you like um, his missus isn't interested in it but you know they've had to cut back on stuff like Sky Sports over the years because they can't afford it anymore and they're, they're, they're your typical average British family you know they, they go to work they try and do the right thing uh, got a car not brand new but just you know they'll have nothing in bank they've got fuck all but each other, which is the most important thing. And if you've got each other and you've got your health, uh, you know, you've got everything. If, you know, my cousin can't touch. She's got no feeling of touch. She's paralysed from here down. And when, you, you know, you realise how important we things we take for granted. So you've got all that. You're a millionaire if you've got happiness like that. And sometimes we don't realise it. And they just plod on through life. And they can't afford... You know, they're like, they're like, look, like Netflix. And it's like, oh, we can't, we can't have Netflix. And, you know, I sit there... Not because I'm a smug hunter out, and I'll go, Netflix, you can get it for about six or seven quid. And they're like, we ain't got six or seven quid. You know, I sorted it out for them. You know, I've got a Netflix account. I was like, well, you just use my login details, you know what I mean? So, and sometimes you don't realise that, that £4.50 to, to me or you, for example, is a fucking big deal to some people when they're already forking out so much money in the first place. And I just think that, you know, this is why the, the the Cody boxes, especially, are you know so attractive to people because it's like, fuck that, I'll take my risk. You know, I'll buy one, and if it goes under, then it goes under. You know, but um, and we got the new TV deals coming up soon. Um, you know, the new TV um, Premier League packages. You know that they sell, so they'll, they'll be bidding for them at the moment. BT Sport and. Um, and Sky Sports, and what they do each each time they come round is they just offer more money, don't they? Which is why these increases go on, and people are going to stop. You know, there's, there's, the figures are down, subscriptions are dropping to these platforms, well, especially Sky Sports. I don't know about BT Sport. I know that I read I read a few articles in, from you know like the Telegraph and Guardian, and I, I know whatever you political views, I'm not interested in that shit. I don't read any of uh, that bollocks. I just read the, um, the the you know stuff to do with sport and. Um, in football and I've, I've read articles saying that the, the, the Sky Sports had, had lost a lot of subscribers uh, and this is why they rejigged the packages recently and do you remember people going oh it's going to be so much more cheap and I not even fucking I don't think it's any different you know the way that they do it and, and drag you in so the new TV packages uh, are up for negotiation uh, bidding sorry at the moment and we should know about them within a few months I think uh, and it's a big deal it's a big deal there's talk of Amazon and you know Apple and Facebook and Twitter and Netflix getting involved, but sometimes I think that they use these as uh, you know as uh, as an excuse you know because they, they did this before one with one of the deals came they made out that I think it was one of the um, uh, one of the other providers on Sky were going to bid um, I can't remember who it was it was like Discovery or some shit like that I know it's diff but the company obviously they're more into documentaries and and shite but it was if you look you'll see and because of that it helped boost the price the bidding work because the, the normal broadcast was like oh fuck you know if they get involved we need to be careful here so the, you know I think there is a, a realistic chance of these companies likes of Amazon um, 
stepping in. And if they do, then it's going to be, you know, it could change things. The only thing is, you know, what are people going to do then? They're going to pay Sky Sports, they're going to pay BT Sports and then Amazon. It's just, it can't go on forever. Now, this is all very relevant, guys, because, and that's particularly why I'm making this long-winded, drawn-out, boring video, is that all of this is it makes a difference in terms of our owners and, and Fenway Sports Group because the TV money is what it's all about. Right, and I can tell you now, the minute it pops, they're out. Yeah, they're gone. And I think that this is affecting potential purchases and potential sales of football clubs in the Premier League at the moment because they all want to know what's going to happen with this next TV deal. All right, will it go up a couple of hundred million? Will it be a billion or whatever? You know, and I, I, I've just got this feeling, guys, that this next TV deal will be the last big one. I, I They'll always be big, but I just... <laughs> there's a possibility it might not be as, in, as big as increase as people think. But, you know, the, there's the international rights and, and stuff. I just... It, can, it can't go on forever. It can't go on forever. And with, this, with subscriptions, uh, subscriber numbers uh, decreasing, more workarounds coming out, um... You know that affects revenues, uh, which is therefore is why you're seeing, in, you know, you, you've got these increases in subscriptions because BT Sport are going to have to, uh, you know, probably offer more. It, it can't go on forever because your ordinary mush, your ordinary guy, family, whatever, they won't do it. You know, most people I know will say, oh, "I've got BT, uh, I've got Sky Sports, but I, I'm not paying for BT Sport as well. I'm just not doing it." And they're people as well that can even afford it, but on principle, they won't do it. Now, I've got both pack packages to with both companies, right? I've got the full package with Sky, and I've got the whatever the full offerings is, the HD offerings with BT Sport. But I don't pay a full whack for it, even though I can afford it, guys, because I won't. I refuse to. So when it comes round to the negotiating the, the, you know, when my contract's up after a year or 18 months, whatever it is, I tell them straight, say, look, guys, cancel it, because I ain't paying it. So that's just business, isn't it? That's just business. That's like if you can get, if someone's sending something for 18, you can get it for 55, you're going to take 55, aren't you? But if it continues, guys, I won't do it. I'll fucking rip the lot out because there are other methods of watching it now. And it's just not that important. But I just think that you can't, they can't continue to do this. And this, all this waffle that I'm giving you in this video is all relevant to Liverpool Football Club because it, the ownership is based around the the money that comes in from these deals and i t i tell you now right i'm 100 percent adamant that the next tv deal will either well it will completely in my opinion um influence how long fenway sports group state liverpool football club because if it's not a fantastic thing increase or not so much a, a, a better uh, financial package for them they'll start realizing then that their valuation can will not continue to increase because henry's like oh you know let's just hang on let's see i think we can get a bit more for this that whole thing of i think we can get a bit more for this is based on the tv fucking deals i shit you not guys i'm telling you so if it's not really like if the when the next TV deals are announced, if it's like oh it's not as good as we fucking thought, mark my words. Look, I'm getting like Donald Trump. Mark my words, China. Right? They will then go. Maybe maybe we need to uh, you know readdress things. Maybe we need to reevaluate and maybe and not. Have I gone all blurry? Mm. Um, I can't do that about that. I don't know where it is. Um, it's a shitty new camera. Face for radio. Uh, from yeah. So if it's not such a great increase, they will, you know, they they will they, they will fucking screen server now. They will start to realise that maybe that their their investment or whatever their asset is not going to continue to rise as much. If it's a huge increase in the next TV deals, then they, what they're going to do, guys, they're going to go, ah, oh, yeah, fuck this, we'll get another TV deal out of this. I can't stress the importance of this next TV deal, and that's what you should be monitoring. If you're interested in the ownership of Liverpool Football Club, you should be monitoring that they, what's happening with these TV deals. Right? It's not just about looking to see who we might sign or whatever. And yes, this is a boring video, but it's really, really important, this video. 
the, the, the point I'm trying to express, which I know I'm not doing a very good job of. But in a nutshell, I think the next TV deal is really, really important to the future of the club. The club, the club here for sure, right? So, and when that comes out, we will then we will, we will evaluate and look at it and see what's what. Twenty minutes of fucking too long. That's what this is, and um, I've got shit internet, so this is going to take ages to upload. Fuck. All right, guys. So um, I'll get off. I'll love you and leave you. Um, I'm actually going to upload this video in the lowest uh, resolution, so it won't be high definition. Uh, I think I'm going to upload it in the lowest resolution just to keep the file size down a bit. Um, which, because I want to make some more videos for you. Um, we're supposed to be getting fiber optic here anytime now. It's it's been installed in the street. I watched them putting the fucking cables in. Yeah, uh, the box is in the street, a couple of doors up from me. Uh, they reckon I can get a thousand, a thousand up and a thousand down maximum. Uh, guaranteed so i mean if i get something like that can you imagine how many videos i'll be churning out i upload the video i uploaded yesterday or whenever it was just saying you know the football's about to start again that took two hours to upload guys two hours all right so can you imagine what it's gonna be like when i can upload a video in 20 fucking seconds yeah i'll be like ah, boom here we go boom so much more content but i really need you to support me at dkb.tv and you're going to see a lot of videos there because in the last two days, I have spent something like £550 on equipment for making the videos. Right? 550 guys. I bought two of these cameras. Yeah? I'm that impressed with it. So I've got, because I've got another office where I do some writing. And what I want to do is start doing the videos again after a game. Do you remember I used to do them? And the reason I don't do them, do them anymore is because yeah, I don't want to have to go to this office, or this main office, after a game. Whereas if I, I go to my writing room, I can just like pop in, make a quick vid, and also when I'm writing, um, I can you know quickly do videos. So that's the idea. All right. So I bought two new cameras. These were 230 each, uh, including um, postage. I think just a bit more. And um, I bought a new um, a new microphone for the for the other room as well. So I've spent a lot of money, and um, I actually don't won't get it back. But there you go. So I thank you to you guys that subscribe at dkb.tv for making it possible. I need you guys at coptalk.tv to understand that I have to um, keep them people really happy. And I and rightly so. And I also will have to churn more videos out over there. right? And the minute that the, the fiber optic is installed here, it's going to change my whole thing. This is why I have bought the new cameras because like I'm like right when I get that fiber optic man we're gonna go fucking like mental with videos do you know what I mean not as long as these there'll still be long ones but I want to do a lot more like quicker ones and stuff about stuff in the you know transfer news and things like that and um, that's why I bought this gear I bought this gear ahead of the fiber optic getting installed what you watch they'll come to me and go no you can't have it in your house or some shit like that so um, I'll, I'll keep you posted all right so let me know your thoughts about the um, these increases. We've spoke about this stuff a million times before, um, but you know, I just wondered what you thought. Will any of you now cancel it? Um, let me know if you've turned to alternative methods. Maybe you don't want to. If you, you know, might be paranoid if you've got your real name on your account or something. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, all right. So let's let's see what happens. And and you must keep an eye out go on to google news every now and then every couple of weeks or every week i'm not saying doing daily and just put you know premier league tv rights or packages and you know google it and see what's what because it really is going to make a difference i think uh, with with regards to fsg's ownership of liverpool football club and i'll tell you something now right i wouldn't be surprised if something comes out some news comes out of there that you're just not expecting sometime soon and i'm not going to speculate about it because that it doesn't do me any favors really so um but we'll, we'll talk about that maybe again today if i can get this video online it'll probably take fucking hours <sighs> right what a long-winded video i'm sorry i bet you like fucking i wish it was still international break i have to listen to this cunt going on can't you just get to the point can't you just get to the fucking point Fuck off, I'm we doing with them miserable cunts. I'm, when they say something like that, right, when people come in and go, can't you just get to the point? I just fucking, I block them, guys. I take no fucking prisoners, mate. No, I will not have anyone moaning on my fucking channel. 
in them comments section. Ain't got time for that. It's, you can see it's a 25-minute long video, so it's a long video. We don't want to watch it. Fuck off. You know what I'm saying, guys? And do you know what? I'm not even like that. You know, I'm a really nice, pleasant guy. But this is what these people do on the internet. They get me out. Oh, fucking shit. Oh, fucking. It brings me into this, you know, this dunk. You know, I become dunk. Like, all right, guy. But there's Duncan. You know, Duncan's like a really, you know, really like passive, very nice, very silver tongue, you know, gentleman. You know what I'm saying? I can. I know you're laughing. I know you're laughing. Right. Let's get this shit online. This file size is 16.75 gigabytes at the moment. And I need to get that down to about 600 megabytes. So that's going to be very interesting. So I'm going to try the lowest resolution on the video. So if it's not good quality, don't say you wasted your money on the camera. I don't normally upload in that, but I just want to, I'm just experimenting. All right, guys. Right, I'm off. Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Let me know what you think about BT Sport um, jacking stuff up. You see that? Uh, that? That's not, it's not like a little Hitler moustache. It's the light, it's the shadow. Look, it's gone. You see that? It looks like I've let, missed a bit shaving. I was fucking here ages ago. Got shaving at lot, man. I was like that with fucking, you know, with Gillette. It's fucking out there. This is fucking camera. It's no good, is it? Right, guys. I love you. I'm so glad we're back. All right. I'll speak to you in a bit. All right.